We're actually today going to do a little bit of experiment. I'm going to try to make this dish on a grill pan. Usually in the restaurant, we'll use our char broiler. You really need a lot of radiant heat in order to make the rice paper puff. I don't know. We're going to learn if we can do this or not. My name is Dennis. I am the chef and partner over at D on D restaurant. Today, I'm gonna make a dish called Ben Chang Nung, which translates to grilled rice paper. We like to call it a grilled rice paper pizza. I had this dish originally in Vietnam. This is a common street food snack. You see kids eating this. This is not something traditionally sold in restaurants. So we're gonna start off by making the sweet chili sauce, which is lots of vinegar, some water, and a lot of sugar. I'm gonna start by pouring them all into a container here. So it's one to one on the sugar and vinegar, and it's a 1.4 ratio to the water to the vinegar. And I'm gonna dump all the sugar in. And then we're gonna turn this up to a simmer and reduce this down to about 50%. You really wanna get something that's kind of syrupy. In the meantime, I'm gonna dice up some fat back. We're gonna cut these into about quarter inch cubes. These are gonna shrink considerably as they reduce. I've got a hot pan now, so what I'm gonna do is gonna add a little water so this doesn't burn. So the water will eventually evaporate, leaving just the fat. So this will probably take about 15 minutes, and you kinda of wanna do it in a low and slow temperature. In the meantime, I'm gonna start on my clams. Today we're using Little Neck clams. When you're looking at clams, make sure you get clams that are still closed. Don't get clams that are open, that means they're dead, and that's not gonna be good eats. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this as well. I'm just gonna add the clams in. I'm just gonna put them in there and steam them till they open. I don't want to overcook them too much. These guys are really small. Don't want to get them too chewy. You want them to stay nice, plump, delicious. It's been about two minutes and our clams have opened up now. So with the lardones here, you can see that this has shrunk considerably. You can see a pool of oil now and I'm gonna keep that pork fat. We're gonna use that later to make our scallion oil. Strain this out. And now we've got these rendered lardones. I'm gonna start shucking my clams. For little neck clams, I like to use about six per grilled rice paper. So we've got our shucked little necks. We have our lardones now. We have our sweet chili reducing. The last step we're gonna do is we're going to make some scallion oil. Scallion oil being a very ubiquitous ingredient that we use in Vietnamese cuisine. We kind of bless everything with it. We're gonna take this pork fat that we had into a pan. Once this becomes really, really hot, ripping hot, I'm just gonna add the scallion straight into there. You wanna see that nice steam and that nice sizzle. Once you see that, you can turn your heat off, give it a stir, and then I'm just gonna pour this, and then we'll reserve this for later. So our vinegar sugar mix has reduced to about 50%, and now I'm gonna add, this is what we have in-house at the restaurant, but what you can sub it for is just fresh garlic and some pickled red chilies, which you can find at any Southeast Asian market. Give this a good stir, and then we're gonna season it with some fish sauce. So be careful, this is a very hot liquid and you're using an immersion blender. You need to make sure it's fully submerged and not halfway out, otherwise you're gonna get sticky, hot liquid all over yourself, and that is not fun. Cool, you don't need to get it 100% blended. Should be sweet, salty, and spicy. Yeah. So now that we've got the components assembled, we're gonna start making the rice paper pizza. We have two eggs, which I've cracked and put into a squeeze bottle to make it easier. Um, you're gonna need some water. We have some crushed peanuts and we have some micro chives here. So one little tip that I learned painfully is that our rice paper here is different than the one we would get in Vietnam. So one of my chefs, shout out to Gerald, figured this out. If we're using the rice paper we get here in the United States, you actually need to use two pieces of rice paper for this dish. So what I'll do is I'll take some water and I will wet one side of the rice paper and then I'm gonna stick the other piece of rice paper on top and it's gonna make it stick together. And then we're gonna place this rice paper right on top of the grill pan. And then using the back of my spoon, I'm gonna do a little circular motion to have it stick. And you'll see as I do this, it's gonna form one solid piece. I wanna see it turn from clear to white. That means it's puffing up, the water's evaporating. And I really wanna make a very stiff shell here. 
flip it over so we get some even heat on this. The radiant heat is what's really important here. And the amount of radiant heat from a dedicated grill or char broiler, you can make this dish in essentially a minute. But this is totally working. This might take a little bit more time, a little bit more patience, but it just allows you to put a little bit more love in the dish. You can start to see it puff up. Now I've got like a really stiff shell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the scallion oil. We're gonna spread it around. I still see some spots here that are a little bit opaque, which means the rice paper hasn't fully puffed. And when I bite into it, it's gonna be more chewy than crispy. You really wanna see it completely all white. This is actually not a bad way for a first timer doing this because when you do it on a radiant grill, you only have about a minute. This is a little bit more forgiving because it's not turning too brown too fast at all. Don't overdo it with the egg. You really need to drizzle just a little bit of egg on here. The egg is gonna act kind of like a binder for the, all the other ingredients. So traditionally in Vietnam, when you make this dish, you'll just crack a little quail egg right on top and then you'll see the cooks vigorously just keep moving their spoon behind it to spread the egg out. You know, if you think of a traditional pizza, this would kind of be like the tomato sauce portion of the pizza. The whites are starting to set, so that signals to me I can start topping it. I like to do six little neck clams, but you can go wild, depending on how ball you want to make this, this pizza. Some of our lower domes on top. We're gonna add our sweet chili sauce, kind of glaze it all over. Add some crushed peanut. And you might think peanuts and shellfish is kind of weird, but this is a very classic Vietnamese combination of shellfish, pork fat, peanuts, herbs, and then we like to garnish it with some micro chives. This adds just a little bit of crunch and freshness to it. And I think given the limitations of our grill pan, I think this might be it. And I'm kind of curious to see how this tastes. So you saw me do it in a home kitchen setup. But if you wanted to throw a Ben Chang Noon party for you and 40 friends, it's gonna take forever if you go doing it the conventional way. So we're gonna use a dedicated charboil this time. This is gonna go a lot faster. Squeeze ball of water, I'm gonna wet one side. Put it together, and onto the grill. In the same circular motion, I wanna fuse them together to make one piece. So you get a nice, even sheet. And again, I'm just looking to make a sturdy shell first. Cool, so now I've got a shell. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of the scallion oil. Got the oil on, I'm gonna drizzle on some of the egg. And you wanna get the egg edge to edge. There's no crust per se on this kind of pizza. Starting to set, I'm gonna add my clams. Some of the lardones around. I'm gonna drizzle on their sweet chili. Hit it with some crushed peanut. Bluster with some micro chives. That's it. Cool, so let's do a side-by-side -side taste and see how the two versions stack up against each other. We'll try the first one, which was cooked on a grill pan. Still crunchy. Seems promising. Flavors are good, though. Totally acceptable. I'd be happy eating this. So now we'll try the one that was made on the char broiler. Definitely improved texture. It's a lot crispier than the other one. You can see the bubbling is consistent all across the rice paper. But again, it's a bunch of minor quibbles. I think anybody would be happy eating either version. So this was a super fun experience. I totally did not think we could pull this off on a grill pan, and I hope it encourages you to try grilled rice paper pizza at home. For the recipe, please click on the link below or come visit us at DND in Greenpoint, Brooklyn.